What's up, losers, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Raven Simone. Oh, honey, let's get right into it. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Why are we here? Let's make this quick. First of all, happy Mother's Day. If you're watching this after Mother's Day, how was it? Leave me a comment down in the section below. Let me know how was your Mother's Day. All right, let's just get into the show. Okay. It's the Influencer, episode three. Are we shocked by the results? Miss Gabriel is gone. gone. Did we see it coming? Were you surprised? Are you sad about it? Okay, here's the thing. Here's the, this, this, I'm going to get right to the point. Was not surprised Miss Gabriel went home. However, still a very big fan, right along with the other two who have been eliminated. Gabriel, I, I, and I think I said this in the last episode, I think that Gabriel would be great as a makeup artist, as, as a profession, as a career, and especially in the film industry, may, maybe fashion industry. I could definitely see that. I'm not convinced that, that he is an influencer yet. Do I see the potential for him to become one and to kind of get that confidence and really figure out what his brand is and what he wants to say and advocate for as an influencer? Yeah, for sure. I think that it'll just come with time and with age. But after the show airing, I do think he's going to be getting some calls. I think he's going to be getting some calls, getting some emails. Like I said before the show even started, everybody who made it this far has already won and, and I... I, I can't wait to see what everyone does. All right, so let's talk about our guest judge. We had Lipstick Nick. Oh my God. Lipstick Nick is a very big name in this community, especially on, on uh, the, the YouTube community. She has worked with a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Please go check out her work. Lipstick Nick is just, I, I love, you know, another reason why I love her, aside from her being very talented, she stays, she, she, you never hear anything negative about her. Every time anyone in the community speaks of her, they're always like, oh yeah, that's, that's a friend. Oh, that's my best friend. She's my good Judy. And I, I love that. I love that you can be in the beauty community and keep a clean slate because a lot of people think, oh, beauty community. Anyways, we're getting off on a tangent. That's not why we're here. Anyways, Lipstick Nick was here, was the guest judge this week. Another great guest judge show. So, uh, I love it. I love it. So, aside from Lipstick Nick, we also had some other special guests. We had Nikita Dragon. We had Bretman Rock. We had Nima Tang. We had Louie. I, I mean, it was, it was, a, it was an overload. It was an overload to have all of them there. And the main challenge was they had to do a collab video. And that's, I mean, that that's, one of the most important things about being an influencer and just being a YouTuber in general, you have to be able to collab with people. Not that you have to do it all the time, but not only is it is it fun and you want to do videos with your friends, it makes for good content, but it's it's business. It's very good business because your fan bases cross over. You know, you're exposing each other and, and sometimes you kind of have the same fans, which is usually why y'all end up collabing anyway. But it's just very important to be able to sit down and be able to conceptualize and record and work with someone and both people be able to really shine. And sometimes it comes down to editing. Sometimes it comes down to chemistry and being able to really make those choices to, that benefit both parties. It's hard. So it was a very crucial challenge. I think that everyone did the best that they could with the time that they had. But it was it wasn't a very close thing. It was very clear that Gabriel uh, just got in his, got in his own head again. But uh, great great artistry. The the actual look that he did on uh, uh, Nima. Oh my gosh! Like th that was undeniably just it, it. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. 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 Gabriel, great job. We can't wait to see more. Now Ashley ended up winning the overall challenge and she was paired up with Miss Nikita Dragon and I love them together. 
Benny won the compact challenge and he was able to pick who he worked with, which he picked Bretman Rock. And then his other advantage was he got to assign what other influencer was going to work with who. And you could very much tell he paired people with who would work the best, which is very nice, but also it's a competition. So, eh, you know, anyways, so back to Miss Ashley. I am so glad that Ashley has finally opened up and was vulnerable. The idea for her video was to just take it all off and be bare and be open. And she talked about being a young mother. She talked about, she just really got dug down deep. I'll let you guys go watch it and see, but it was a really great video. And I would like for her, like to see her do a video like that for real, for real. If you have already, please someone, if she's done already, somebody send me the link. But it was good. It was a it was a different. It was just a different Ashley. It was the Ashley that I've been waiting for. The Ashley I knew it was in there. And I'm so happy. And it, it was it was great. She won rightfully so. Benny won the compact challenge, which was the apology video which a lot of you guessed earlier this week miss james charles tweeted out a trailer for this week where he showed him being kind of mad at the artist and you know you we knew it was acting honey i don't know if we were supposed to be fooled but it was great acting but we know you james we know to have an apology video as one of the challenges the compact challenge this week very entertaining very good to see now gabriel was great with his compact he he actually almost won the compact challenge he was very convincing he was very it was almost like hey you can kind of act you might have a career in acting too it's it's just something very important that you actually need to know how to do as an influencer as a youtuber not that you ever want to have to use it but you know in this day and age somebody's always upset about something so eventually you probably have to make an apology video so I'm, I'm glad that that was a, a challenge. It was cute and it was, it was, it was exciting. It was tea, it was drama, it was great. So brings me to next week is the finale. The finale is the end. This is, this is, it's what we've all been waiting for. What are your predictions? Who do you think is going to win? So we have Ashley, we have Kaylin, and we have Benny. All three of them, I can see them taking it away. From the beginning, I said that Kaylin's probably going to be the one to take it all. And she's still here. And next week's the finale, so she very well may do it. But with that being said, I can see any three of them really going, stepping up and, and taking it all. But also, also, like I said, everyone who's made it this far has already won and I can see there's going to be opportunities for them of course winning the the money and the title is <laughs> you know going to be that much more sweeter but everyone right now is is a winner and this is a great show there's already been some talk about a season two let me know what your guesses are for what the finale challenge is let me know who you think is going to win and and just leave me a, a comment if i said anything you didn't agree with or if you agree let's discuss in the comment section down below I, I, let's let's open up okay let's let's just get into it right Anyways, those are my quick thoughts on the Instant Influencer episode three. If you haven't seen my other Instant Influencer videos, I'll put them right up here. And uh, go watch them, binge watch them, binge watch the other videos. If you haven't seen the new show on Wednesday for the Nellyville channel, please go uh, watch that first official episode of Nellyville and also come back on Wednesday to see the next video of Nellyville on this Nellyville channel. Now, I just want to mention that Sundays is going to be reserved for series. So once this series is over, there's going to be another one. I already have some things in the works. So Sundays is going to be series Sundays. Okay, I kind of like that name. But there's going to be series on Sundays on this channel. And then on Wednesdays is going to be more of like your regular main content from Mwah. Hope to see you there. Subscribe, thumbs up, post notification bell so you get notified. Leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment. Okay, and um, happy Mother's Day. Have a great weekend. Have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to watch Instant Influencer on Fridays on James Charles' channel. And don't forget to come back here and watch Nellyville because, well, why not? Right? Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, bye.